Light Cloud is the most powerful lighting control system available, but it's also really easy to install. Light Cloud controls are completely wireless, so there's no complicated wiring, dip switches, or remotes. All the devices are programmed remotely from the cloud, so any licensed electrician can easily wire the devices for power and let us know what was installed. To organize the devices, download the free LC Installer app. It makes managing the devices really simple. If you don't have access to the app, use the device table that's included with your gateway. Before wiring any devices, make sure you turn off power at the breaker and follow local electrical codes. Let's get started. There's two things to consider when choosing a location for the gateway. First, the gateway should be located as close to as many other LightCloud devices as possible. Second, the gateway requires a strong cellular signal. To test the cellular signal, charge the included batteries by connecting the gateway to line power for 30 minutes or wire a temporary plug. Place the gateway in the intended installation location and test the signal. The second light shows the cellular strength. Ideally, you're looking for green signal strength, but yellow is acceptable. Using the installer app, create a site and scan the device ID on the gateway. Wire the gateway for permanent, unswitched power. Now we're ready to move on to the other devices. LightCloud devices send, receive, and repeat wireless signals. Each device needs to be within range of at least one other device and have a pathway back to the gateway. Indoor devices have a wireless range of 100 feet through standard building materials such as drywall. Outdoor devices have a wireless range of 1,000 feet if there aren't any obstructions. If you have thick concrete walls or need to extend the range, you may need to add extra devices to repeat the signal. Now you're ready to install the devices. All LightCloud devices require constant, unswitched power, so don't put any devices down circuit from any time clocks or light switches. Before installing each device, scan the device ID and complete the device info. Then wire the device. For LightCloud enabled fixtures, all you have to do is wire for power. Controllers switch and dim fixtures are an entire circuit and can be installed at a panel, a junction box, or directly on a fixture. The sensor is really two devices. It has a built-in controller that can function just like any other controller in the site. It's also an occupancy, vacancy, daylight sensor that can control its internal controller or any other controller on the network wirelessly. Sensors are wired just like a controller. Dimmers and touches act like wireless remotes for controllers and don't require any wiring to the fixtures or controllers. Wire for constant power only. For retrofits, it's really easy to add extra dimmers by getting power from a nearby outlet. After installing each device, it's important to test them. The status indicator should be blinking red and the LC logo should be lit up indicating power. If the device is a controller, test the on, off, and dimming. A double press will toggle the device on and off. A double press and the hold will dim the device. If on, off, or dimming isn't working, check your wiring. There's probably a loose connection somewhere in the circuit. After scanning and installing all the devices, submit the site information. You're done. That's all there is to it. After submitting the information, LightCloud support will configure the system remotely. Once the devices have joined the network, the status indicators will be solid green. If any device isn't green, make sure the device has power and is located within range of another device. If your site has more than one gateway, install one gateway and its related devices before proceeding to the next gateway. If you have any questions, feel free to call us for free, unlimited technical support at 1-844-LIGHTCLOUD. LightCloud by Rab Lighting.